Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Kingdomas project tutorial for beginner. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn the admin, update or edit the category name from here. So let's go and have a edit option over here so that admin can edit a specific name. So for it, let's go back to the code and we'll go to our category.blade.php and here you can see category name and the delete option. So after category name, let's have another TH and here we're going to say edit. After that, we'll go down and here you can see TD in order to show the category name. So after this TD, we're going to mention another TD here. And in this TD, we're going to have an anchor tag. Then in this anchor tag, we're going to say edit. And let's also mention a bootstrap class for this anchor tag. And it will be BTN, BTN. Let's say success. So right now, if we say, then if we now refresh here, there you can see we have the edit option over here. So let's go and give a URL for this edit option. So here in this href, we'll give to second bracket. Then we'll set here URL to first bracket to single quotation. Let's say it will be edit underscore category. And we also need to cast the ID because there is multiple data over here and we want to edit it specific name so in order to edit a specific name we need to get the specific id so we'll say here comma and here you can see using dollar data we are actually able to get the name so using dollar data we will also be able to get the id so we we'll say here dollar data this arrow sign id so first of all uh, how to do is that when we click on this edit button it will take us to another base and in that base we'll have a input field with the category name and we'll be able to update that certain category name. Okay. So let me just show you, you understand. Uh, so here, let's go and create a route for this. So we'll go to our web.php and here, let me just copy this route, control C, then control T. So the route will be in K and here you can see the route name is edit underscore category. So let me just copy this and we are going to say here edit underscore category and we also need to cast the id since we are sending the id from here and here you can see delete category so uh, we will use the admin controller and the function name will be edit underscore category okay so let's save this and let's go to our admin controller and create this function so we will go to our admin controller and here we are going to say public function Edit category to first bracket, we first cast the ID, then we give to second bracket, and this ID will come from uh, here. Okay, so here from here, we'll just return a simple view, but before that, okay, let's just return a view. We'll send here return view, and the view will be in the admin folder, and let's say the view name will be edit underscore category. So right now, Let's go and create a view in the admin folder and the view name will be edit category.blade.php. So here you can see we have the admin folder. Let me just right click over here, then click new file. And here we are going to say edit underscore category dot blade dot php. Control S, then save. So let me just say here simple HTML and in the body, let's say edit ends. For now, if we now save it, uh, how to happen is that, let me just explain. Whenever someone click on this edit button, it will call this edit underscore category URL and our this URL will call the edit underscore category function in the admin controller and our admin controller edit underscore category function will return us to this new admin dot edit category which is this on. So right now, if we just refresh here, and click on this edit button there you can see we are able to see the edit page and in the url here you can see edit underscore category url slash on slash on is the id name so if we click different edit button here you can see you are able to see different id name here so right now let's go back and here in the admin controller here you can see we are getting the id here so first of all here let's go and declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we need to mention the category model name then we'll say over here double tone fine we'll say dollar id 
first of all we get the data using this dollar id then we'll send this dollar data to this queue so here we say comma compact and we'll set data and in this data we have the specific data that we just uh, clean from here okay so using this dollar data we'll be able to get the column data that we just clicked so here if we just say two second bracket then dollar data this arrow sign and here in the database you can see category underscore name the column name so if we just say here category underscore name we'll be able to get the name let me just save then refresh here and if you click on uh let's say for men if we click on edit there you can see you are able to see men if we click on this woman edit option click on edit and you can see woman and here we do not need to use polish loop because we are actually sending only single data and if you are sending a single data there is no need for you to use polish loop if you use polish loop you will get an error so right now obviously we do not uh, want to have a design like this uh, when you click on edit option so when you click on edit option we want to see a design like this and a input field where it will show the name so for it what we need to do is uh, let me just remove everything from here then i'll go to index.blade.php and i'm going to copy everything from here ctrl a ctrl c then i'll paste it over here in the edit underscore category.blade.php so ctrl t and I'm going to remove this and that of include admin.body from here then save then we'll refresh and if we now click on edit option there you can see you are able to see the admin panel over here properly but there is no body so here we are going to have a input field and a submit button so let's go back and let's mention a div here then in this div we are going to write dev form okay before that let me just say what here h on and let's say here edit or we can say update category and after this we're going to have a form and in this form we're going to have a input field input type it will be text and name will be category and here for this input field we need to give a hello and what will be the value hello will be this one we set to second bracket dollar tata this arrow sign cat day cori underscore men so you just need to write this then we call to dollar data category name so right now if we save then right now let's go back and if we now click on this edit button there you can see we have update category option over here and here you can see you have an input field and in the input field we have toy written over here so let's go and have a submit button here so let's go back and here we are going to say include type will be submit then we'll say value it will be update category and for this input type we are going to have a class bootstrap class and it will be btn uh btn secondary let's say secondary save then if we now refresh there you can see it looks like this so right now let's go and make some design for this input field and i think uh, we should use different color for this so instead of secondary let's say here primary and for this input type text let's go and add some design and also for this div we're going to mention a class let's say class name will be div underscore design and let's go at the top and in the head section i'm going to say here style and the style will be dot div underscore design then we give to set in bracket here i'm going to set display flex then we'll say justify content it will be center align items it will be center as well and after that let's also set here margin it will be 60 bx so what this will do this will make our input field and this text in the center so if we now save then refresh here there you can see okay let's have this update category at the top let me just cut this from here let's have it over here and here i am going to say style 
color it will be white let me just refresh again and i think this okay and right now let's go back and here for this input type text we are going to add some simple css so we set here input to third bracket we set type equal to text then to second bracket we are going to set width it will be 400 bits and height it will be uh, 50 bits so those will be all that design you can now refresh and there you can see so right now let's can write a code in order to update the name category name so for it let's go back and here you can see we have the form so in this form we are going to say action and then method method will be post we also need to mention at the right of csrf and in this action we get to second bracket then we we'll set our urn to first bracket to single quotation less our url name will be update underscore category and we also need to send the id form here so we'll send here dollar data this arrow sign arrow sign id why dollar data because from the admin controller we are sending the data form here you can see that so right now we need to create a route for this so let's go back to our web.php let me just copy this control c then control t so this time instead of edit category we we'll say over here update category but let me just copy it from here directly let me just copy then i'll paste it here and the function name will function will be in the admin controller and the name will be update underscore category let's set this and let's go to our admin controller so we'll go to our admin controller and here we're going to save public function update category to first bracket first of all we cast the id then to second brackets so this id we are also sending it from our web.php here you can see up for update category there is id so right now first of all just like before let's take that variable and first of all we need to cast the specific id in the table so we say here category double count find dollar id and after it we we'll say dollar data this arrow sign so let me just explain whenever we are saying category find id it means it will point to a specific row in the table and after that we are storing that in this dollar data variable so using this dollar data we will be able to update the column of a specific row we will be able to update the let's say uh, category name this only on column if you want we can also like update the criteria and update it at, but that's not necessary we want to update the category name right so for it we need to say here get tail query name underscore name equal to okay oh, there is one more thing we need to do and that is in the edit category here you can see this is a post method and i write over here in the route route get so it will be post and for post method in the admin controller we need to say request dollar request and give a comma over here so for post method you need to give request dollar request and we are also sending the id so here this is a post method we are also sending the id so we need to write here request dollar request then id so here we are going to mention this dollar request so we said here dollar request this arrow sign and in the edit category dot play dot php here you can see name equal to category so we are going to set here category and after that we just say dollar tata and this arrow sign set and this time after saving the end up we want to send the insert to the uh to this view to this view after updating the data so for it what we do is we say return redirect to first bracket to single condition then a slash and here you can see that our url name is view underscore category so we'll mention this url over here so we'll just save it here and here as well so right now so let me just refresh uh let's update this on toy 
let's click on edit here you can see toy so instead of toy let's say over here toys click on update category and there you can see it took us to this view we underscore category and here you can see the name is updated so let's also show a message over here at the top that our category updated successfully so for it we are going to use the toaster uh, in order to show the message so in the previous tutorial we already installed toaster in our laravel project so in this tutorial we can just directly use the toaster since you already installed it so let me just copy this on control c and after saving it i'll paste it here and we'll say here add success category updated successfully let's save it then let me just refresh here and let's click on main option there you can see main i'll click on edit stock main let's say here yes means click on update category and there you can see there is a success message over here category updated successfully and category is already updated over here as well so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we we'll add product from the admin panel so thank you very much for watching if you have any question any suggestion then let me know in the comment section Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.